Hello friends, let us now learn some important, uh, uh, the you know, the pathway of synthesis of amino sugars. So, how are amino sugars synthesized? So, if you see this, we have glucose. The glucose gives rise to glucose 6-phosphate in the presence of hexokinase. This glucose 6-phosphate in the presence of phosphohexose isomerase, it forms fructose 6-phosphate. This fructose 6-phosphate combines with glutamine in the presence of amino transferase and it forms glucosamine 6-phosphate. This glucosamine 6-phosphate combines with N-acetyl-CoA to form N-acetyl-glucosamine 6-phosphate. This N-acetyl-glucosamine 6-phosphate undergoes epimerase and it forms N-acetyl-manosamine. This N-acetyl-manosamine in the presence of PEP, it forms n acetyl Neuraminic acid. This N acetyl neuraminic acid combines with CTG to form CNP N acetyl neuraminic acid, which finally forms sialic acid, gangliosides, and glycoproteins. It forms sialic acid, gangliosides, and glycoproteins are formed from this N acetyl neuraminic acid. Now, this, six acetyl, this n acetyl glucosamine 6 phosphate in the presence of isomerase it forms n acetyl glucosamine 1 phosphate. This n acetyl glucosamine 1 phosphate combines with UTP to form UDP n, -glu UDP -N acetyl glucosamine. This UDP N acetyl glucosamine in the presence of epimerase it forms UDP N acetyl galactosamine which will result in formation of glycoproteins and also glycosaminoglycans are formed. Sometimes this N acetyl uh, UDP N acetyl glucosamine directly forms glycoproteins and glycosaminoglycans. Then if you see this glucose amine 6 phosphate again in the presence of isomerase it forms glucosamine 1 phosphate which will combine with UDP to form UDP glucosamine which can be used in the synthesis of glycosaminoglycans. So let us put the uh, enzymes in this pathway. So if you see glucose to glucose 6 phosphate, the enzyme is hexokinase. Glucose 6 phosphate to fructose 6 phosphate, you see uh, the enzyme used here. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. The glucose 6 phosphate to fructose 6 phosphate, it is um, phosphohexose isomerase is involved. Then in fructose 6-phosphate to glucosamine 6-phosphate, here the enzyme involved is amino transferase and during this process, glutamine gets converted to glutamate. This glucosamine 6-phosphate combines with acetyl-CoA to form N-acetyl-glucosamine 6-phosphate. This N-acetyl-glucosamine 6-phosphate in the presence of epimerase, it forms N-acetyl-manosamine 6-phosphate. This N-acetyl-manosamine 6-phosphate combines with, in the presence of PEP, it forms N-acetyl-neuraminic acid 9-phosphate. This N-acetyl-neuraminic acid 9-phosphate combines with CTP and giving rise to inorganic pyrophosphate and it forms CMP N-acetyl neuraminic acid. Then this will form sialic acid gangliosides and glycoproteins are formed. Then this N-acetyl glucosamine 6 phosphate by isomerization it forms N-acetyl glucosamine 1 phosphate. This N-acetyl glucosamine 1 phosphate combines with UTP 
and it forms a uh, UDP uh, N acetyl glucosamine and this N acetyl glucose UDP N acetyl glucosamine in the presence of epimerase it forms UDP N acetyl galactosamine and this will result in formation of glycoproteins and glycosamines glycosaminoglycans then this glucosamine 6 phosphate in the presence of isomerase it forms glucosamine 1 phosphate which will combine with UTP to form inorganic pyrophosphate and UDP glucosamine is produced which will form glycosaminoglycans so this is the pathway for synthesis of amino sugar thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you